Hi friends, I am Asmitha. Welcome to my channel. Donna Rose has been the subject of newspaper and magazine articles, so she is accustomed to the attention. She has appeared on ABC News and Entertainment Tonight, answering invasive questions with thoughtful depth. She enjoys going on dates in her hometown of Charleston, South Carolina, and has a successful business as an IT consultant. She was born as David Rose. Born as a male, Rose knew by the age of six that her body did not express her sense of self. Without an outlet for discussion of transgender issues, she hid her insecurities. At 12, Rose asked about dressing up as a cheerleader. Rose's mother was adamant that it was inappropriate. I always expected I would outgrow it, Rose says. This wasn't a part of me I wanted to acknowledge. It wasn't convenient. Rose decided that if she had to be a boy, she was going to be the best boy. The pudgy, unathletic teenager began lifting weights. In high school, Rose went out for the football team and played linebacker. She also became a nationally ranked wrestler. In college, Rose bench pressed 300 pounds and became a nightclub bouncer. In 1981, two months after graduating from Syracuse University, David Rose married his girlfriend. They had a son. Rose realized in her mid-40s that she could not hide her true self any longer. In her lecture, she said that witnessing a successful surgery was the impetus for beginning her own physical transformation. During Rose's transition year, as she moved towards sex reassignment surgery, her wife and son rejected her and she risked being fired. Rose described both the physical pain of the procedure and the emotional pain of rejection by her son and wife. She documented the experience of moving away from her family through letters and journal entries that she eventually compiled into a book, Wrapped in Blue. Rose finally is comfortable in her skin. Describing how her new femininity affected various aspects of her life after her transformation, Rose said that the privileges she received as a white, middle-aged man disappeared after the surgery. Rose told her audience that she makes $10,000 less as a woman than she did as a man. She started her comeback with San Francisco's Golden Gate Wrestling Club in 2006, training with the team and wrestling in the club's Memorial Day tournament. She followed that with a gold medal at the Gay Games in Chicago. She took up intensive training again in 2010, thinking to make another Gay Games appearance. She worked with Arizona State coach Melvin Douglas. He asked her to go to the US Open Women's Freestyle Wrestling Championships with him in Cleveland. She was nervous. She told him she was transgender. Douglas essentially looked at her and reminded her she was a wrestler. Although her transition was difficult, she now speaks nationwide about her experiences and about issues affecting the transgender community always attempting to leave her audience with a positive message. As the newly appointed executive director of the Lesbian, Gay, Bisexual, Transgender Community Center Coalition of Central Pennsylvania, Donna Rose is concerned about equality and the right for everyone to live a safe, happy and productive life. The transgender community is maturing at a rapid pace. It has demonstrated its resiliency and is demanding its rightful place at the table of equality. The transgender community is a cross-section of society itself. We are not sad, sorry, pathetic, confused people looking for pity or scorn. We are not ashamed of the fact that we are different and, in fact, are learning more and more to appreciate that in ourselves. We are learning that dignity and self-respect are not automatically forfeited by being transgender, and that nobody can take those things from us unless we give them away," she said. I know you told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way and Guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away but I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away As you fade away
yeah, I'm about to fade away. Cause every time I wake up, I feel like it's Monday. Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain. All of a sudden, I don't look at anything the same way. Gotta build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray. I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay? Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way. I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace. I never really asked to be brought into this place. You wanna love me? Well then baby, have a taste. All the highs and the lows, no, you'll never be the same. I don't really wanna hurt you, but I can't control the pain. If you're sticking by my side, maybe we could be okay. Okay, okay, maybe you could be the change I need today. I promise that I'm never fell this way. I really hope that you will choose to stay through all the pain.